Hey, Pastor Julian here with today's devotions from Central. Due to popular demand and the fact that the sound got cut out of the entire midsection of the devotion last week, I'm going to be going over the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 to 16 once again. This is what it says. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. You are the light of the world. This might be news to you right now. You are the light of the world. Not you could be the light of the world, or you should be the light of the world. You are the light of the world. This is what Jesus is saying to you. If you are his follower, if you have given your life to him and you are living for him, you are the light of the world. If you are listening to his teachings and going out and taking that to heart and you're going out and you're living out his teachings and his mission, you are the light of the world. It goes on, a town built on a hill cannot be hidden. This, this just takes me right back to when I went on a trip to Israel uh, and I was on the Sea of Galilee. You can see towns on hills uh, surrounding the entire area. There are a lot of towns on hills in Israel. So the people that Jesus was speaking to here, they are very familiar with that. Some of them probably lived on a in a town on a hill. And so... It, and it can't be hidden. You can see it. The town on the hill cannot be hidden. Uh, even at nighttime, when, when they have their lights on or there's candles or whatever, you can see that light in the darkness, and you can see it during the day. It says, Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. See, you are the light of the world. But you can hide your light. You can hide your light. You can put that light underneath a bowl and keep it hidden. But Jesus is saying that doesn't make any sense. That isn't what Jesus wants you to do. He wants your light to shine before everyone in this world. In fact, he doesn't... He doesn't just want your light to shine. He wants you to be put on a stand so your light shines even brighter and everyone can see you. Friends, some of you are hiding your light. There's no need to hide it. There are things that you're afraid of, potentially rejection, but, but your light will overcome any darkness. That light of Jesus. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Now, there, there is some confusion with this. See, Jesus is telling you here that you do good works, you do good deeds, you let your light shine through, through what you say, um, through how you treat people, through your um, living out God's word and his teachings. This is how you be a light to the world. But there's some confusion where people believe that they have to do things as a Christian. Everything is done in secret. Oh, we can't let anybody see this. We've got to do it in secret. And, and I'll tell you, it comes from a good place. It comes from the very next chapter. It comes from Matthew chapter 6, during the uh, Sermon on the Mount, where Jesus says, in verse 1 of chapter 6, Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. So this seems like it would be contradictory, where Jesus is saying, Let your light shine before anyone, your good works, all your good deeds, your, everything you do to follow me. And then he says, Well, <laughs> don't do it to get seen. Don't do it to get seen. Hide that thing. Um, and he even goes on to, to, to talk about giving to the needy um, and not to let your right hand know what your left hand is. So 
just to clarify what, what we're talking about here and what Jesus is saying, he's not contradicting himself. What he's saying here is very clear at the end um, of verse 16. That they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. This is the whole point of doing those good deeds and letting your light shine. Is so that you bring glory to Jesus. And so that others might come to know him as he works through you and sees his light in you. Verse, uh, chapter 6 verse 1 is talking about you doing things to get seen by other people and receive credit. Like you're looking for that affirmation from other people that, oh wow, yeah, I did something great, didn't I? Oh, I'm wonderful. Um, that's not what we're supposed to be doing. That's not letting your light shine. Letting your light shine is giving that glory to God. It's not about you. It's all about Him and others. God bless you and let your light shine today and every day. God bless you.